How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be looking at the career simulation for Fernando Tatis Jr. If you guys want to see some more of these, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, in the comment section, let me know how we could continue to tweak these types of videos to make them even better. I took on a lot of your suggestions. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to retirement. Um, I didn't go to retirement for the Vlad video just because I was trying to do a little bit of a feel out, see what you guys thought about it. Should we go to retirement? Should we just go 10 years? Stuff like that. Just to kind of feel what you guys wanted. We are 100% going to go to retirement. Also, what we're going to do is we're going to let the CPU handle everything. Lineups, trades, contracts. That way, it's, you know, we're literally simming the career for this player. We're trying to see how the simulation plays out. So that way, you know, I'm not controlling it. I'm not signing contracts. And we just let... You know we just let it play out to see what happens so what i want to do is a lot of you guys asked to do year by year look at how things went really what i want to show you is did the padres make the playoffs did tatis jr make you know any contr like contribution did he win a an award did he league like lead the league in anything so what i still want to stick to is the one year five year 10 year if we hit 15 years we'll go to 15 years um like every five year increment um if he does win an award if he does lead the league in anything i will show you that along the way no matter what year it is but if there's nothing that happens between one year and five year i'm not going to show it to you guys that way we can just look at that five year span in a big chunk rather than stopping every single year to look at stats so say season three he wins the mvp i'll show you the year that he you know i'll stop season three i'll look at season three stats i'll show you how he compared to other players where he led the league and stuff like that but if nothing happens from one to five i'm not going to show you anything in that i'm just going to stop at season five we're going to look at those those years as a chunk and then we'll just continue to sim until something does happen that way we're not just stopping for no reason we're stopping if there's an award league leading something like that so Without any further, you know, conversations being talked about or any, you know, dragging this out longer than it needs to be, let's get into it. Like I said, CPU's handling everything, and what we're looking at is first season, where he like where he's in the lineup, his overall stuff like that. So we have an A potential 20 year old, 81 overall. Good fielding stats, good speed. Obviously, the hitting stats are a little bit of a question mark i think this is definitely going to hurt him um the first couple years of his career probably the first five i don't think he'll develop too quickly kind of like vlad did where he was like a 99 by season four i think he'll be high 80s low 90s but we'll have to wait and see how things play out so that is going to be season one let's see how it you know how season one actually plays out and uh i'll talk to you guys then so season one, the Padres finished 66 and 96. Let's take a look and see um, if Tatis won any awards. He didn't. Um, it doesn't show that we had any league leaders. So I'm assuming that he didn't um, have any league leading stats. He moved down in the lineup and he actually dropped a little bit in overall. He's a 78 overall now, but um, we'll take a look at his stats. So a 205 average that's definitely going to, you know, have an effect on his attributes maybe his morale a little bit his contracts bothering him his team performance individual performance so you guys can see you know that's definitely going to have an effect on his his overall his attributes and stuff like that um 14 home runs 49 rbis a lot of strikeouts so that for a first season it's a little worrisome that you know hopefully his potential doesn't decrease his overall doesn't take a hit too much um, and in the offseason, he should develop. So I'm hoping that is what happens, that he does develop. He has a bounce back year for the future. So unless something happens in season two, three, four, I'm not going to stop. So let's see how he is come season five. I'm kind of interested to see the big the big increase in overall that happens. Alrighty, so season five, the Padres made it to the postseason. As a wild card team we'll take a look at fernando tatis jr he's a 94 now and last season he was an 85 so that he he made a huge jump nine overall um that he jumped up this this one season so this must have been like his good year you can see 
def like fielding wise he is unreal good speed still hitting wise you know the stats are slowly making their way up but they're still kind of low but when you look at you know his production throughout the five seasons that he's been in the big so far um 270 average 341 on base percentage his best throughout his career best slugging percentage best ops um home runs his second best but best rbis um best year in terms of rbis so you know some numbers went up you know the numbers that matter average on base percentage definitely did go up but it's seeming like he's finally starting to hit his stride and really turn into a superstar um he is hitting his final year of arbitration he made 10.4 million this year so he's going to be hitting the free agency market see you know maybe he leaves goes somewhere else since you know the padres in five seasons this is the first year they made the playoffs so let's see, like see how things play out in the playoffs i'm going to sim it if they get eliminated you will see might as well just go through they advanced here let's just sim all the way through and they got it eliminated through uh from the cardinals we'll take a look at his Eesh, I was going to say, we're going to take a look at his playoff um, average and stuff like that. He hit 200 in the playoffs, four home run, or four RBIs, three home runs, and 25 at-bats. So a little, I mean, in terms of home runs and RBIs, not too bad. But he did go kind of quiet in terms of average. So season five, there is your, um, your kind of update. We'll take a look to see if he leaves or stays um, in the free agency window. But I kind of have a feeling he'll just stay. You know, I have a feeling the CPU will offer him a contract. But we'll have to wait and see. Catch you guys in a bit. So I guess I was wrong. I guess he had one more year of arbitration. Because when we sim through free agency, um, it said he was offered arbitration. So I don't know if it's just because it's team. I don't know. I, th I thought it said free agency. So I guess he still um, had one more year of arbitration. But you guys can see he's a 94 now heading into season six. So... This is his contract. If anything changes, I will show you guys. This is where he's standing season six. I'll see you guys at season 10. Alrighty, season seven was his free agency year. And you guys can see Fernando Tatis Jr. got paid a $19 million contract for 2025. And then once we get to 2030, 30, he's up to 42.9 million. Unreal. He's finally hit 99 overall as well. This is season set six, two, three, four, five, six. So technically season seven. So it takes about seven seasons to get to 99 overall, but still pretty impressive. He just got paid. And actually the Padres decided to pay Tatis Jr. instead of reigning MVP, um, Fran Mill Reyes. Uh, Fran Mill Reyes hit like 45 homers 130 RBIs or something like that. So this is the decision they made. They went with the 99 overall Tatis Jr. And we'll have to see how that pans out. So again, here's his contract probably for the rest of his career, I would say, um, unless he gets traded to the Padres and something happens. But there's the team. There's Tatis Jr. in season seven. Let's see how the rest of it plays out. I'll see you guys at season 10. In season, I think this is nine. I'm going to double check, but you guys can see he won his first gold glove. Let's take a look. He is a 99 again, or again, he still is. So I think this is, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, in season nine, he won his first award, a gold glove. So there's that. Um, I guess, you know, unless something crazy happens in season 10, we're going to leave it like this. Alrighty, season 10. The Padres made the playoffs for just the second time in Tatis Jr.'s career. He was a league leader in doubles, and that was it. Just the just the, just the doubles. Um, he won another gold glove, so that's back-to-back -back years with gold gloves. Let's take a look at his stats. His potential and overall has started to go down a little bit, which is a little weird um, to see. You know, he's only 29. I don't understand why he'd be starting to decrease so quickly but through 10 years of his career you guys can see 178 home runs 671 rbis an average of about 264 a 329 on base percentage and a slugging percentage of 433 so this looks like the most rbis he's had in his career his second best average as well yeah so it's 
he's not really hitting for power his stats really don't show that he would be an amazing hitter contact wise the stats are nice but the power just really isn't there um you know compared to like a vlad jr but you know he, he's a really good fielder has some speed that's a that's like a good asset to have but in terms of just contact and power it's just he's, he's looking like he's going to be a high 200s hitter around 20 home runs you know maybe 80 70 rbis something like that so so far through 10 seasons that is what tatis jr is looking like so like i said they are in the playoffs let's see how they do they advance through next series they advance as well taking on the red sox in the world series so let's see how this plays out for the padres and they actually sweep the red sox in the world series so the first time that the padres made it past what the nlds they actually move they actually win the world series so let's see tatis jr was the playoff mvp not the world series mvp though so let's take a look and compare him to what um guzman did so guzman won the world series mvp i think it said he was what 400 or 600 with two home runs and three rbis so Okay, I mean, I wonder what Tatis did, but you can see for the playoffs, he hit 359, seven home runs, and 13 RBIs. So, to tally along with his two gold gloves, he has a playoff MVP award, and it looks like he actually did pretty well in the playoffs. So, so far, two playoff appearances in his career, one playoff MVP, one World Series title, um, and we'll have to see how the rest of his career goes. So, unless anything happens, within the next five seasons the next time you'll see me is season 15 if he does make it that far you never know he could just make a surprise retirement out of nowhere and we'll take a look at his career then so this so far through 10 seasons he has one world series title which i mean it's at least a title so we'll see how it goes for the rest of his career season 11 the padres were eliminated in the 2029 world series title um playoff mvp was not won by tatis let's see how he did um in the playoffs you can see a 324 average um two home runs over 68 at bats so not too bad during the playoffs just wasn't able to you know clutch it up with the team um heading into the world series so they got they almost got swept a four to one series in the world series so back-to-back -back world series appearances unfortunately not able to bring it home all righty so fifth season 15 going into season 16 you guys can see what happens here tatis jr has finally left the san diego padres at the age of 35 like to go see. to the mariners these are his stats from last season a 268 average a uh, 22 home runs and 92 rbis so let's go see what that means in terms of well, obviously he left, but I want to see what other kind of stats he had. So he went to the Mariners, um, and he's going to be here 95 overall. You guys can see 22 homers, 92 RBIs, 320 on base percentage, 459 slugging percentage. He's up to 260 home runs in his career. I wonder if he could hit, you know, another 40 in the next couple seasons before he retires. Hits that hit that 300 club. Um, what about stolen bases? He's at 215. I don't know if he'd be able to steal um, 85 bases to make it to the 300 300 club, but it'd be pretty pretty interesting to see. You can see season 14 was a little bit of a down year for him in terms of home runs and RBIs. Just really didn't get that run production, so it's really starting to see like he might start to tail off pretty quickly, pretty soon. But season 16, he finally changes teams. Let's see how that works out for him. So in his first season with the Mariners, they made it to the ALCS. Looking at how he performed, though, not too impressive. A 200 average, one home run, and four RBIs. It's looking like he's really starting to fall off. So maybe within a season or two, we're looking at the retirement of Tatis Jr., Fernando Tatis Jr. So um, I'm kind of interested to see how everything will look once it, you know once he decides to retire so let's see how it is i just wanted to show you quickly how season 16 played out um especially since they made the playoffs so there it is Alrighty, so i think this is season 17 i'm starting to lose track at this point but you guys can see 20 
35. The Mariners uh, won the World Series. And um, so they actually brought him back for another year. So this means, again, Fernando Tatis Jr. won his second World Series title in his third appearance. He hit 222 with two RBIs. So I'm pretty sure he's not he's not going to be winning any uh, playoff awards or anything like that. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't. Uh, no postseason MVPs or anything like that. You guys can see that he didn't win that there. But you can see Tatis Jr. You know, it's it's looking like his his time's running out. He, he's down to an 83, 36 years old, just not hitting that well. Um, and I'd be really surprised to see him go too much longer. So I just wanted to show you guys again that he did win the World Series, his second of his career. The CPU decided to bring back Tatis Jr. to the Padres. <laughs> Unreal to think about. He leaves for two seasons and somehow the CPU is like, yep, we're bringing him back. It doesn't matter that he left. He came back. It's time to bring him back. Hopefully see him retire in a Padres uniform 82 overall at 37 years old I I mean I give him like two more seasons tops I think it's at that point where he might he might just retire very soon so unfortunately he gets traded to the Indians mid-season so I guess we'll have to see how the season finishes for him so disappointing to see him not finish it out in a Padres uni but you know, it happens. It does happen. Alrighty, so at the age of 41, 58 overall, you guys can see Fernando Tatis Jr. has finally retired. We're in 2039. So I mean it's it's been it's been a while. It's been he's been two years out of the game. You guys can see this season he was uh, with the Padres and the Indians. And then this season, it looks like he was more of a platoon player for the Padres in 2037. So two years sitting in free agency, he finally decides to hang up the boots. So what was that? 20 years he was in the majors almost. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So 21 seasons before he hung up his boots. He didn't play for two. So I guess 19 years in the bigs. That is a crazy uh, career. That's a, that's a long career to think about. So as you can see, his total stats, 2,800 hits. Well, 2,807 for home runs. He had 290, just 10 short of the 300 club. Um, RBIs, he had 1170, almost 1,000 walks. Um, almost 250 stolen bases, a career 262 average, 325 on base percentage. And like I said, you know, his hitting stats, I, was, I wasn't expecting them to be amazing. You know, he didn't really have a lot of power. His contact was about probably, I'd say, above average, but not too, not too great, like not too amazing, you know, probably 80s for most of his career. Um, and then when you look, so it, it, it makes sense why his numbers, you know, he's hit, he didn't hit 300 home runs. You know, he just, just, just missed that 3000 hit club. But, you know, when you think about it, he's not really a power hitter. He probably wasn't going to do a crazy amount of RBIs based on these stats in real life. He definitely has some pop off the bat. So he may end up being a player who hits 300 home runs. Um, possibly 400, which is definitely a possibility with the, the pop I've like I witnessed in real life. I saw him in spring training. His stride is so smooth. He's able to lunge at the ball. He hits the ball so hard. So um, that's kind of it, guys. You know, you guys can see the stats here. Um, we'll, we'll back out. Doesn't make the Hall of Fame here. Um, I'll sim a couple more seasons, see if he does make it, but I don't think he will just based on his stats. Um, so let's leave it there for now. I'll see if he makes the Hall of Fame in a few seasons. If not, we'll you know we'll we'll wrap it all up. We'll talk about it once again and uh, see how things go. So guys, no Hall of Fame for Fernando Tatis Jr. You know, under 3,000 hits, under 300 home runs, around a 260 average for his career. I mean, he just just probably missed it which is a little disappointing to see you know i think i think the game kind of under 
sells him for his his hitting stats i definitely think he's a better hitter than what the game portrayed in this simulation but again guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and let me know some of the differences you've seen with this career sim to some of the times you've used tatis jr in your in your franchise i definitely want to see how it compares did you guys see him hit 40 home runs in a season 30 home runs in a season was he an absolute you know all-star every single season mvp every single season what 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 did you guys notice that was different between this simulation compared to the times that you've used them again guys this is just you know just a simulation anything can change and i hope you guys enjoyed it again in the comment section let me know which player you would like to see us do next would you like to see acuna otani mike trout you know there's a bunch of different names out there that we could do so let me know down below in the comment section i'll catch you all in the next video peace